It's 23 degrees outside and I think that means it's time for a winter everyday carry update. How's it going guys? It has been a little bit since I've made a video and that's because life is crazy. Well as you saw from the intro today it is cold and snowy outside so I thought it would be a great time for a winter everyday carry update. So let's jump into the video. Now my everyday carry doesn't change a ton. I do have some new pieces with me today that I've been carrying for a while because they were sent to me to test out. So that's some of the reason it's changed up. I actually am liking the new stuff that I'm trying out. So I'm gonna share it with you guys in the video today. First, we're gonna start off in kind of like categories, right? So most people carry a phone, wallet, and keys. So we're gonna talk about those first. And as always, there will be links for everything in the description below. First up, we're gonna start with the phone. Now, I've shown this phone for the last couple of years and this will probably be one of the last updates you see this phone in because as you can tell, there is kind of uh, quite the big crack on that screen. That's what happens when you drop it on the ground. This is the TCL XL, cost $40. I got it like five years ago, four or five years ago. And considering it costs $40, it's done pretty well. It just sucks in the area of storage, cameras, the uh, extra things, but it does the functions of texting and calling that you need it to do. And it does okay with doing things like Google Docs, Google Drive, email, and stuff like that. So that's what I've been rocking for a phone lately. Hopefully soon I'll be able to replace this with something nicer, but it's been going pretty well so far. As far as a wallet goes, I have been carrying the Travax Armored Summit for quite a while, but I reached out to Travax in preparation for some other videos I was gonna make and asked if I could get a discount code to share with you guys for Travax products. So special shout out to Tiana and her team on the marketing department. They hooked me up with a discount code for you guys to use to save money on the Travax products. So if you use code AKOGR10 at checkout, you will save 10% off your order. This does exclude sale items and different stuff like that, but it still is a really nice deal to take advantage of when you can. So Tiana did send me this wallet out to take a look at, not sponsored or anything like that. They just want me to take a look at it and review it and give my honest opinion of it. So I've been carrying this for the last month and a half, two months now, and I'm really liking it. This is the Travax Element. As you can see, we've got leather here on the front and metal around the edges. So kind of the best of both worlds. You got your leather and your metal. And then on the back here, where your cash storage is, it's covered up by leather so you don't lose any of your cash. You have your nice snap here on the front, pop it open. You can get to your cards and stuff on the inside. And then you have your cash storage on the back with a money clip and then you can fold it all up and cover it up, slip it back in your pocket and you don't have to worry about anything coming out of the wallet. So that's what I've been using for a wallet lately is the Travax Element. This is the steel gray leather and then the raw metal pattern and I've been really liking it a lot. Full review will be coming soon. Now as far as my keys go, I've got the Travax Keaton clip, something else that Tiana hooked me up with and at first I wasn't too sure about it but I've actually been enjoying it quite a bit. I really like the details they've put into the product of having their little logo stamped on the metal pin there. Now as far as my keys, I just have keys to the house, cars, truck different stuff like that I do have a tick key the original tick key on there I'll leave a link for this down below super cool American made tick removal device that actually works and then I also have a key knife on here just it was a gift I think it came from Harbor Freight or somewhere but it's nice to kind of have a little spare backup blade on your key ring even though it's not the highest quality or anything like that it's still nice to have a backup and another thing I really like that I've probably already mentioned about the Travax stuff is it is American made. Now as far as a knife goes, I have been rotating through a couple of different knives, but the one that really mainly comes back and sticks in my pocket pretty much every single time is the Leatherman Skeletool CX. I have some Spydercos and some other knives that I do carry, but I really like this because it's a multi-tool and it has just the bare essentials of everything that you need on a daily basis. I've made a full review of this multi-tool so you can check it out. The link up here in the card after you're finished watching this video. I'll also leave a link for it down below. Now as far as a flashlight, I did go ahead and buy another Olight S2R Baton 2 to replace the one I lost a while back while hiking. And 
I really like this flashlight. I think it's one of the best designs that Olay has come up with. I did for the holidays receive as a gift the Baton 3 Pro, which is their new flashlight or one of their newer ones that is basically an uh, improved and brighter version of the S2R Baton 2. And I've really been liking this light, testing it out, trying it out and different stuff. I will be making a review of this. It's not perfect, but it is another cool design. And I really like this size. This is kind of the perfect size for everyday carry. So that's what I've been doing for flashlights, sort of rotating between the two. I think this one gets a little more pocket time than this one, but this one is still a good light. And I like the color and the features it has that are upgraded from this one. More on that in a future video. Now some just random little things that I carry around with me. A Bic lighter so you have a fire source, chapstick because it's cold and wintry outside, and then 3M earplugs in a little tiny 3M case. Now for the last couple months, actually a little bit longer than that because I featured it in my summer everyday carry update, I've been carrying a fixed blade with me pretty much every single day as well. This is the SE Azula 2, American made, high quality, great warranty, just a really cool little knife. I've got it in the sheath that it comes with and it's got the belt clip on the back. You can also switch this clip to mount to the other direction, which I carried it in that configuration for a while as well. I really like this knife. It's full tang, really thick on the spine and the whole knife so you don't have to worry about breaking it and the micarta scales are a nice touch. This knife is not cheap, but it is definitely worth the money. Heavy duty and high quality, yet again, another great American made knife. Now I have a couple little things that I don't always carry, but I do carry them when I know I'm gonna be needing them and they do come in handy. When I'm on a job site or working, doing some of the different stuff that I do, I will oftentimes carry a box knife. I'm not a big fan of box knives because I'd rather just use my regular knives, but depending on the task and how dirty it is, it is nice to have something like this that's a little bit expendable. This is the Milwaukee Fastback 48 22 1500, and I'll usually carry this or a similar style box knife that has the one hand flip open and close. This is like 10 bucks, 10 or 12 bucks, and it's a really great little knife if you need a box knife to carry around. Another thing that I just discovered recently, which I've come to really like, is the Milwaukee Inkzall permanent markers. These are really great, way better than your typical Sharpie. I don't really like the pocket clip design, but these are really great. They write really well and they hold up really well as well. So if you see these in your local hardware store or big box store, go ahead and pick a couple up. They also make them in chisel tip as well. Now, of course, having all this gear is great and a good everyday carry is not complete if your pants are falling down. So enter the Trayvax Cinch Belt. I got this belt last year as a Christmas gift and I have been wearing it pretty much every single day since. I really like this belt, infinitely adjustable and pretty simple and minimalistic. Got mil spec webbing and over time it kind of bends to where you wear it the most often. So in the morning you can just kind of get up and slip right into it and it'll lock where you typically wear it. I'm gonna be making a full review of this belt here pretty soon, but in the meantime, if you wanna save some money on Trayvax's website and get yourself a high quality American made belt, go ahead and use code AKOGR10 at checkout. Hit up the link in the description below. Now a couple other handy things that I usually have with me are a hat. This is the Condor Outdoor Tactical Mesh Back Hat. Got an American flag patch here on the front, but it is Velcro, so you can put whatever flag or patch you want. It's mesh back here in the back, it allows you to stay cool in the summertime, and then there's a spot for Velcro on the back. Considering that this isn't a super expensive hat, I think it's really nice for the price. And then finally, I have some sunglasses. These are the Iron Man sunglasses by Foster Grant, I believe, and this particular model is the Relentless model. I have a couple other ones. I've had several pairs of these now. I've broken pairs, lost pairs. They're not super expensive, but they are pretty nice for the price, and that's what I've been wearing and carrying around to have a pair for the vehicle as well as a pair to keep with me. That is pretty much it for everything that I carry with me. I do have a lot of other gear that I use on a regular basis, so I'll be making some more everyday carry or everyday use videos in the future. If you want to hear more about a specific product on the table here or that I might talk about in the future, let me know. I've got some battery chargers and some everyday sling bags and everyday carry bags, different stuff that I have set up to make my life easier. So I'll make some videos here in the future going over all that stuff for you guys. I'm also thinking about making a video about the everyday clothes that I wear, some of the pants and shirts that I really like. So if you're interested in something like that, let me know.
As always, there will be links for everything in the description below. And big shout out and big thanks to Tiana and her team over at Travax in the marketing department for hooking me up with some pretty cool gear and being able to get me a discount code to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash that like button 2023 style. What happened to 2022? We were just there in January, just started yesterday and it's already February. Anyway, smash the like button, leave us a comment down below and share the video with your friends. If you're new here, please consider clicking subscribe. We try and make a new video every week. And as always, stay safe and we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, hey there, thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, like it, comment and subscribe. Go ahead and click on there click up here to subscribe stay safe and we'll see you on the next video